Why the Bear Has a Short Tail by Dr. Gino Gizic and Nijo Benes. Illustrations by Sam Zimmerman. Long time ago, the bear had a very long tail. He loved it very much. He would tease all the other animals. He would tell them, My tail is much bigger than your tails. My tail is softer than your tails. My tail is much more beautiful than your tails. The other animals felt bad. They were outdone by the bear. Nainabuju heard him telling that and warned the bear, You shouldn't tease them. Something is going to happen to you. It was starting to become winter and the lake was forming a thin layer of ice. Nainabuju was living with his grandmother in a wigwam in the woods. He was warming himself next to the fire inside their wigwam when he said to his grandmother, Grandma, I have saved many nuts and acorns to eat all winter. I will hunt for deer as well. One day, Nainubuju noticed that some of the nuts were gone. He asked his grandmother, Grandmother, has anybody been here while I was gone? No one has been here, replied his grandmother. I wonder who could have stolen our nuts, thought Nainubuju. One evening, Nainubuju came home carrying a deer he had hunted. He saw the bear with his big, long tail sneaking out of his wigwam. Nainabuju went into his wigwam and saw his grandmother was sleeping. The bear must have snuck in while she was sleeping. Nainabuju said, I'm going to get my arrows ready for the bear if he comes here again. I'm going to shoot him. So he wrapped the tip of his arrows with pitch and birch bark and set them by the fire. When grandmother was out gathering firewood, he dressed up just like her and lay down pretending he was sleeping. The bear entered the wigwam with his big long furry tail. He saw who he thought was grandmother sleeping and started grabbing acorns and nuts. Nanabuju shouted at the bear, I see you stealing my food. Leave my food alone. The bear went running outside. Nanabuju jumped to his feet and grabbed his bow and arrow. He lit the tip of his arrow on fire and ran out of the wigwam. All he could see was the big furry tail of the bear as it was running away. He drew back on the bow string and aimed carefully. Then he shot his flaming arrow at the bear. The flaming arrow hit the bear's tail and started it on fire. The bear started hollowing, Yawa, Yawa. His burning tail hurt very badly and he ran to the lake and punched a hole in the thin ice with his paw. Then he stuck his burning tail into the water. It made a pshhh sound and steam rose out of the hole. Every time the bear took his tail out of the water, he said, You, uh, you, uh, I still hurt. So he would put his tail back in the water again and again. Then he kept his tail in the water because it felt so good. The bear said, this feels so good. Soon enough, the ice froze on his tail. After a while, he tried to pull it free, but it was stuck, frozen into the ice. He tried and tried to break free. Finally, the bear made one strong pull and his tail ripped off. He started crying, saying, my beautiful tail. I lost my beautiful tail. Nina Buju hollered to him. See, that's why you shouldn't be teasing the other animals. 
So that is why the bear's tail is short today when you see him.